Hi everyone. Today we are going to learn how to complete Cornell notes for your homework. Our topic or objective is completing Cornell notes and our essential question is how do I complete Cornell notes? Completing Cornell notes is very simple if you just follow a few simple steps. Let's take a look at those steps together. Steps to completing the Cornell notes. The first thing you must do is write your name on your paper. In order to get credit for your homework, we must know who your paper belongs to. So please do not forget your name. Step two, write the date on your paper. Make sure you include the month, the day, and the year. Step three, as you watch the video, fill in each of the blanks. Remember, while you are watching the video, you can always pause the video at any time so that you can write the words or when you uh, complete the practice problems, it'll give you time to do that as well. Also, if you didn't hear what the answer was, you may also re-watch the video as many times as you need to get the information. After you have filled in all of the blanks, it is time to complete the practice problems. Every night on your homework, you will be given a few practice problems just to make sure you're understanding what we are learning. Step number five. After you have finished filling in the blanks and completing the practice problems, you will need to write a short summary telling what you have learned. The summary only needs to be a couple sentences long, just enough to make sure that you understand what you are learning. The last thing you will do is to write two questions that you still have about what we are learning. Make sure the questions are things you really want to learn because we will be talking about those the next day in class. After you've done those simple steps, you are completely done with your Cornell notes. Let's take just a moment now to look at what the summary might look like for this lesson. If I were to write the summary for this lesson, I would write something like, to complete Cornell notes, I need to fill in all of the blanks. complete the practice problems, write a summary, and write two questions. For this lesson today, if you would like to copy this summary to remind you what it should look like, feel free to pause the video or to rewatch it to look at the way I wrote this. Let's also look at the two questions that we need to write. Questions might sound something like this. What will the practice questions look like? On this set of Cornell notes, I did not show you what the practice questions look like, so that might be a good question that you might still be wondering. Another question you may be wondering is, what subjects can I use Cornell notes for? This is also a question I did not answer in this lesson, but it is one you may be wondering about. So let's take a look at this whole lesson now. I have my name and date on the page. I have filled in all of my blanks. There were no practice questions this time, so I did not complete those, but on future lessons there will be. 
I wrote a short summary about what I learned and I asked two questions about what I would still like to know about Cornell Notes. Congratulations! You are completely done completing your first lesson using Cornell Notes. Have a good day!